In this SimFig tutorial, we're going to go over the basics of objects, what an object's ducts are, and object parameters. So let's clear the screen here and get started. First thing we're going to create is probably the simplest object, a circle. Click on the circle tool and let's drag out a circle here. Now we want to look at the object parameters for the circle we just created. In this window here you should see the object parameters. If you've accidentally closed out the object parameters you can reopen it by going to File, Panels, Params. You'll see a new little window up here and you can just drag its tab back into location. Now I'm going to stretch this window over so we can see it a little bit better. Here you can see all the available parameters for our current circle object. Z depth, amount, blend method, color, radius, feather, origin, invert, fall off. If we wanted to we could change the circle's color here just by double clicking on this and selecting a new color in the color window. Click close. Click on the transform tool. Now you can see the positioning and radius ducts on the circle. Positioning ducts are always green. Radius ducts are always blue. By dragging the radius duct you can set the circle to a different size. Let's go to the rectangle tool and create a rectangle. Click and drag. Now in the parameters for the rectangle you should only see about five options. This isn't because the rectangle only has five options, but because it should be showing the parameters for all objects right now. In Synfig, it's possible to select multiple objects and show parameters that they all have in common. This way you can change similar parameters for many objects all at the same time. To select only the rectangle object, let's go over to our layers dialog now here you should see the rectangle and the circle click the rectangle so it is the only object selected now you should be able to see all the parameters for the rectangle object the rectangle object has parameters point 1 and point 2 these define the shape of the rectangle and you can change them by clicking and dragging them or you can change them directly here in the parameters I'm going to leave them the same for now just by clicking enter enter now let's create a star. Go down to your layers and select only the star. Here in the star parameters you can set how many points you want your star to have. Let's try changing it from 5 to 6. Now you can see I have a 6 pointed star. Click on an empty area on the canvas to remove the ducts. Now let's go to the polygon tool. With the polygon tool you can create an object with any number of straight sides you'd like. Click back on the first duct to close the polygon. At the bottom of the polygon object parameters you'll see a vector list parameter. This vector list saves the location of every duct on the polygon. Just like other parameters these can each individually be changed also. Now let's go to the beeline tool with the beeline tool you can make objects with any number of points and curves okay synfig crashed on me when I tried to do an undo operation it's quite powerful but it is still early software so just remember if you're working on an important project save often so let's create a beeline now When you finish creating your points, right click on the first point and select Loop Beeline. Click on the Transform tool to finalize the creation of it. Now in the Parameters dialog, you should see a new Beeline region and a new Beeline outline. An outline is created by default for all Beelines. This can be turned off in the Tool Options and I'll show you how to do that in a second. Now an outline is available for all objects and can be set in the tool options. An outline is its own unique object 
but it is usually attached to another object. Let's go back to the circle tool. Over here you can see the tool options. By checking create outline beeline we can have an outline for our circle as well. Now in the layers you can see the circle outline. When creating any object it will always have the option here for you to create an outline if you want to. The last tool for creating objects is the draw tool. Select it and come to your canvas and using the draw tool you can create shapes very similarly to how you would with a pen on a notepad. One last thing is using object ducks. Every little point you see is considered a duck in Simfig. Let's go to the transform tool and now you can see a lot of ducks. You can drag these ducks around to position objects just how you'd like them. Different colored ducks have different purposes. The yellow ducks affect curves. Green ducks affect object positions. Orange ducks are vertices. And those are the main three types of ducks. Yellow, orange, and green. Sometimes one type of duck can interfere or get in the way of moving other ducks. You can turn certain types of ducks on and off using these buttons on the top of the canvas window here. Click this to turn on and off position ducks. This one to turn on and off vertex ducks. This one to turn on and off tangent ducks. This here radius ducks is for circles. Width ducks are for outlines. And angle ducks are for things like a star which you can rotate. And that's the basics of creating objects in Synfig Studio. Thanks for watching PenguinTutorials.com.